Hi everyone, this is just a very brief um, introduction to creating user-defined fields, uh, create formatted, ser formatted searches, and then on those formatted searches, applying them to user-defined fields and how we can how we can kind of make them interact a little bit. So I have a test database here. I'm going to leave this uh, query manager open. This session is really um, about showing you some of the, the power of uh, the formatted searches and um, what we can do with a little bit of thought on a database. This particular database, uh, we've set up our stock records with a number of user-defined fields. Don't worry about the first few. The ones that we're really focusing on here are category, product type, make, and uh, model. And on this database, um, the products are uh, mostly designed to be uh, specific to um, a vehicle. So if I have a look here, this company um, sell a lot of tow bars and all of their tow bars are specific to certain vehicles. So you can see makes and models appearing there um, quite readily. So if I just pick on the Mitsubishi Outlander, um, we'll see then that we have our make and model. When we're creating a new stock record here, you'll notice this is a formatted search on this on this field. And if I click on that, I have a list of makes, so vehicle makes. I'm taking that information from a, a user-defined table, which I've created. So essentially, we have a list of uh, all of the um, vehicles which are typically sold in Ireland. And each make, then we have a list of all of the models sold. So the idea behind that then is that we can select a vehicle or a manufacturer rather. And once we do that, then we on the, on the model side of things, we will see only the vehicles that relate to that make or the models that relate to that make. So just to show you how to set um, those two fields up, if we just go back to my query manager, um, this uh, format or this field has a formatted search called select make. So we come down here, we just look at select make. And we'll see that it is uh, initially it's looking at the table called make model, which was the user defined table we just looked at. It's also looking at itself, more or less. It's actually looking at any data that's in this um, this uh, user defined field as of now uh, and presenting that back to us. So it could be that along with having makes and models, which we set up on that user defined table, we put something else in here and uh, we want that to appear on the list as well. So when we actually look at the um, the select make and um, we uh, run it, we get a list of the, um, the manufacturers or the, the makes of, of a vehicle. And right down the end, then we'll also see some non-vehicle manufacturers. So Witter, for example, they don't make cars, they make tow bars for cars. Um, there's one or two others there as well that, that aren't car makers, but they exist on this list. Even though they don't exist on the vehicle list, they exist on this list. So uh, hence I'm uh, showing them up here. Uh, we may also have a duplication or what appears to be duplication, uh, probably because we've spelled Toyota wrong on at least one record. So there's obviously some tidying up to be done there. So once we pick a um, vehicle maker, uh, we should then be shortlisted for only that manufacturer's um, model range. So if I put in here, for example, if I just typed in uh, BMW, and if I select this option, I then see the BMW range of vehicles. So that formatted search is um, also available. So we'll just have a quick look. We'll see that that one is based on a formatted search, which I've now called select model from OITM. And we come down here to select model from OITM and we find that um, that is looking to select um, the model from the table we've just mentioned, the user defined table. But we're also saying where the make on the user defined table is equal to the make in the OITM record we're currently looking at. So that's what the dollar and the OITM there means. The dollar tells us that it's the current record we want to look at. And we're isolating that to look at just whatever that make says. So, for example, if I came back here and I typed in Witter, and came down here and clicked on the button, I get nothing because um, Witter don't make vehicles. So this model is only looking at models that exist on the um, the table in question, the make model table. So. We can look as hard as we want, but Witter don't exist on that list. So therefore we can't get a model up. If I go back and put in Toyota, I'll then see all of the, uh, the Toyota range of, uh, of vehicles.
Okay, so I'll just show you one more time, just just very quickly show you how that uh, that formatted search was was uh, was working. Uh, it might be of some help to you at some point, hopefully. Okay, so that's on the uh, the item master data itself. Uh, this uh, company then um, typically would get a phone call from a customer saying I'd like a quote for um, my vehicle, and I've put some more format searches in here. So we've used the uh, the new UI functionality, which allows us to um, to to actually configure a um, a layout. So I've been able to put in some customer notes in here, and I've also put in user defined fields uh, for a status and and various things on the customer. So uh, here I have my item list. <clears throat> of course, I can just click on that and I get my entire list of products up. But my products um, have all been categorized. Uh, in other words, they have those four characters or four fields we're looking at, category, product type, make and model. And what we're doing here then is uh, we, have a, um, we have a formatted search on this field as well. And if I click on that, I'll get everything up initially because I haven't been in any way specific. So I get a long list of products appearing and there's all sorts of things in there from uh, tow bars to 4x4 related via, uh, for, to, to um, van related stuff. OK, if, however, I come into the category field and if I select that, I can I can isolate this to say that I'm only interested in a tow bar product. And then from that, I can say I'm interested in one of the, the parts that make up a tow bar. A tow bar comes in several parts. So um, Equally, I could go with bike racks, and then if I go with bike racks, I see um, the types of bike racks that we, we we have available to us. Okay, so if we just go with um, with Vanguard for the moment, actually, Vanguard is a range of products that can be attached to a van. So everything from uh, ladders and uh, roof bars and shelving roof racks feature uh, heavily there as well. And if I to go with just um, Ulti. And if I just put those two searches in and click on the button, I will get a short list of Ulti, well, Vanguard products with Ulti in the product type. Now, it's not just Ulti, it's Ulti and Ulti Rack, et cetera, et cetera, because the format search that I have working here is looking at these four fields and the values in those four fields right now. So if I just go back a step and if I look at, um, let's just go with um, Citroen as an example. And if I select that, I get all products that have Citroen in the make field. So there's lots of tow bars, but there may be some other products then as well. So there's, uh, there's roof bars and there's stuff like that made for Citroen vehicles. So if I know the um, the model number that I'm talking about, so come back here and look for a model. And if we just say it's going to be uh, the uh, Berlingo. And now if I isolate for that, I've shortlisted to only um, products that relate to the Citroen Berlingo. And again, that's a little bit too long for me. So if I just go back and say I want that for only tow bars. I now have only tow bars that relate to Citroen Berlingos and I have the, uh, the different models there. So really it's just to show you that um, we have an interaction between these four user-defined fields which we've put into the, um, the sales quotation and the item master data search which we're, we're looking at here. So the idea is that while I'm on the phone, if the customer tells me that he's looking for a tow bar, so just putting the words or the letters, a tow bar, and if I just know that it's going to be a Berlingo that he's looking for, if I just type in BER and do a, do a search, I could immediately um, find that for him. So this kind of is, is designed to try and uh, make it as fast as possible to find the short list of Berlingo products. Ideally, I may just want to offer him a product which is currently available in my stock. And we'll see that this is a forwarded search. So we'll have a look in a moment now to see what this actually contains. Um, so if we just leave it on screen for a second and go into um, our format searches and we have version two of this field or this this query. So basically what I'm saying here is I'm looking for the fields so you can see it's the item code and name, the categories that we were looking at. And then free stock is just looking at the stock on hand minus the stock that's on committed or on sales orders, which gives us our free stock. And we're taking that data all from the OITM table and then we're doing a where statement and the where is based on um, the fields from OITM. So namely the category field and where that's like um, the field called category and the dollar symbols here tell us it's the field called category on the um, the sales quotation. So if I hover over that field, if you keep an eye down in the lower part of the screen, you'll see that that field is a, on a table called item 38 and the column number or the column name is a U category. 
So um, that's what we're getting there. I'm checking just in case that that value is null. I'm converting that null to just a, a, a blank. Um, the queries don't always like nulls. I'm sure you're aware of that. Uh, and then if we want, we can right trim that because that will typically carry um, a number of spaces to fill out that field. That field is 30 characters long. So we end up with, with TOW and 30 characters. So we want to trim that back to just a TOW. Um, and then the, um, the wild cards here, the, the percent signs means that it's looking for anything which is like so hence we get um, wherever uh, we have a like on, on that record. So if I typed in a BAR, for example, and did a search on that, I'm only going to get tow bars. If I type in rack, I'll just take out the model for a moment. Then I get anything that has rack in, 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 the, in, the, uh, in the category. OK, so that's really just trying to uh, illustrate or explain to you what um, what we're trying to achieve with um, the formatted search there. So I'll just leave that open for a moment again. Maybe this might be of some assistance to you if you're uh, if you're struggling to write one of these. Um, it um, can take a bit of time and effort to actually get that working, but this seems to be working quite well for me now. So I just thought I'd share it out there. So yeah, that's it. Uh, basically, once once uh, I decide on a, on, a, on a product, so if we just say that um, I have an Audi A6 and I want to look at um, potential tow bars for that, so just do that. And as a novice, I now have a list of the of uh, tow bars that fit uh, Audi A6s. And so from that list, then I pick the one that uh, fits my vehicle, and away I go. I have some other information then relating to item details here. So there are particular um, necks that go with uh, each of these vehicles. And um, this gives me a, a list or a recommendation as to what neck is best for that vehicle. If you have any questions or queries, uh, please feel free to leave your um, comments in the comments section. Thanks.